today I want to talk a little bit about how to digitize your photographs and the way people have traditionally done that is with something like this. This is on Amazon a Canon combined printer and scanner a two-in-one. It's about 180 bucks and it will allow you to do basic scanning, putting photographs down on the glass and then scanning them. Um, it can also scan documents which could be useful if you have some old printed or typewritten pages that you would like to convert into a soft copy but overall it's it's not the fastest way to do it but it's fairly cost efficient and uh, it's kind of a, a useful add-on to your printer to have a scanner on it as well and I'll show you a bit later if you go this route how you can enhance the output from this type of scanner but you can then go to really I guess the, the best option is a high-speed auto feed photo scanner and it will also do documents but here's an example of one on Amazon from Epson this is a really nice um, photo scanner you can auto feed these you can put a stack of photographs in there it will scan them through each one in about a second so you're doing almost 60 a minute uh, really fast and good output quality it is expensive though about a $500 scanner so if you're gonna do a lot of these you may maybe have hundreds of photographs that might be worth your time to invest in something like that um, if you're not ready to invest that much money but you still have a fair number of photographs you could go with something like this also on Amazon this is a plus deck um, about $200 and again these prices will probably change a little bit over time but in my experience if anything these prices go down a bit over time so anyway this one will do about uh, one photo every two seconds so about half as fast as the previous but still very fast now let's suppose you've decided you're just going to use a traditional scanner or even worse you, you maybe you don't even have a scanner and then you're just going to photograph uh, hard copy photos printed photos that are laid out say on your table or something like that and then try and go in and save each one of those photographs so you could do that you could photograph several photos at a time um, this is an example of, of kind of the output you might get this is from a scanner a traditional scanner some pictures of my grandfather we scanned many years ago uh, we got seven on the page you can see they're all kind of uh, uh, tilted different directions none of them are really straight one is sideways they're all different sizes and to go in and crop and straighten and save each one of these would take I don't know two or three minutes anyway to do seven different photographs but there is a software package called auto splitter and uh, it's really uh, pretty powerful you can get a free version of this and do some of this stuff uh, at least in a limited time frame or you could go in and get the license which I did which was I think only twenty dollars and uh, it works really well so we'll take that same photograph of my grandfather and it's called Philo, Philo Peterson 2 we'll open that up and then you can see here what it does it goes in and it opens that photograph and it's already split them all into seven separate photographs they've been straightened they've been cropped and they've got a name already attached to them so it took the original file name Philo Peterson 2 and then added you know one two three four five six seven after that the only one that needs to be adjusted is this one that was sideways I just come in and click one button to rotate that left and now it's good to go so really that took a total of maybe three or four seconds from the time I opened it and then clicking that one click and then we're done so that'll save you a fair amount of time and again if you can save yourself two or three minutes on seven photos if you've got hundreds of them you can save yourself uh, several hours of time if not you know dozens or hundreds of hours so anyway a lot of different ways you can go out about digitizing your photographs but I highly recommend using a scanner of some sort a high-speed auto feed scanner if you've got a lot of photos and if you're not gonna go that route definitely check out auto splitter